role of World DAB is twofold. One is to establish a technical standard, which we've done, and now our focus is absolutely on promoting digital radio around the world. And we have 93 members from 27 countries. And why have they all joined and what do they get from the organisation? I think the key thing is, it's all one family. The key theme that we've established is that you need to collaborate both at a national level and at an international level to make digital radio a success. And what World DAB does, it brings all these people together from all aspects of the radio ecosystem, from policy makers and regulators, through broadcasters, manufacturers, and digital radio associations in individual countries. A new Smart Dab launch here today uh, will fit in any car. It's designed as a DIY product, so in the box it has a cigar lighter for power, it has an aerial to be fixed to the windscreen, and it has an auxing cable to go into the radio. One of the important areas we're working on at the minute is the partnerships that we're um, either developed or developing uh, in different markets. So if you actually look at Sandage, so in the UK we've been working on them for um, the last 12, uh, 14 months and we just announced that today. I got uh, uh, important news today regarding uh, improvement of uh, DAB coverage. In, uh, in Europe, uh, I, I, I heard also that uh, uh, non-Euro countries are working so much in that. Events like the General Assembly are a great way of sharing information. You know, we had some fantastic speakers over the last two days, but it's also a fantastic networking opportunity. And what, you know, one of the key things that we need to do is to make sure that the individual people from the different countries are able to meet their counterparts in different markets, share ideas, share experiences, work out ways that they can work together. Music